<laughs> it works. All right, so my cables came in today to, for the rack unit, but I was gonna put it together, but I've just been so busy, crazy busy, that this whole place, it's a mess. Cables, this, all this messy stuff, ugh. So I'm gonna clean up a bit, and then I'm gonna put this rack together. I got this mini effect gizmo that we're gonna be hooking up. I got this rack that I made, and I'm gonna give you the tour, make sure it all works. I got cables, all these cables. Cables here, all these cables by uh, Jake Hughes or JH Pro Audio. Thank you, Jake, for sponsoring a portion of this video. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be great, but I'm, I gotta take a minute to, to clean up. So I'm gonna do a, a full studio tour once I get everything like nice and ready. And uh, one of the things I was waiting on was this, this rack, which we're gonna be doing today. But uh, even with all this space and all the storage and all the stuff I've planned ahead with, uh, it still gets messy really quickly because it's just so much gear. It's hard to believe I was doing all this in my room, in my bedroom, crazy. Content with these soon but not today got this it's pretty cool there's a bunch of pedals that I gotta do stuff with soon all right let me show you what we're working with today before we get over there hook everything up JQ's with uh, JH Pro Audio you can follow him on Instagram I'll link it down below pretty new company so go follow he's doing some great work uh, he hand makes everything so he does these patch cables like this he gave me a few of these and then he did exactly as I requested um, TRS on this end, I got several of these to split Y on this end. That's gonna help me go in stereo in the effects gizmo, hopefully. I have just an instrument cable, new guitar cable, because I wanted a, a solid one. I've been using um, some cheap stuff, always cheap. I've never had um, quality cables, ever. Never, ever, it's the first time. I've been using these that you get at like Guitar Center and some of them have like a lifetime warranty, so when they go out every few months, you just take it back and get a new one. Not a bad deal, but kind of inconvenient, and uh, you know, just not the same quality. And then I've got seven different colors of just regular patch cables. Black, blue, gray, this color, white, red, orange, and then one more cable uh, that I ordered. I'm gonna go from the FX Gizmo Stereo, TRS on this end, to TS angled to go into my interface, and it won't be sticking straight out. Let's hook it up and see how it goes. All right, so here's the unit I made. Um, it houses all my uh, Line 6 effects here. It's on wheels, let me turn it. So on top here right now, I have basically all the power coming in. I'm gonna try to make this look a little neater. Right here I have the Pod Go. Right here I have the uh, my pedal board, my all black pedal board. You guys have seen this before. Helix, HX Stomp XL. And I also use this with a power supply to hook up other pedals. If I'm like demoing something, I'll, I'll patch them in right here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this way, and if I'm gonna keep all these on the same levels, I might switch things around. I was kinda going through a test period. And then there's the HX Effects and the HX Stomp. Like I said earlier, there's the uh, RJM Mini Effects Gizmo. This is the X, I'm pretty sure, which stands for stereo maybe, and it has a couple other switches, has a built-in buffer. Yeah, so here's the plan. I could control this via MIDI if I need to. I have the uh, USB here power um i can tune out basically i want to go guitar in and guitar out to my interface and then i'm going to send with a regular patch cable to the back of the inputs of each of the units then i'm going to come out with the split y cables ts obviously on each unit coming in trs single cable into each of these jacks that way i retain my stereo signal and then when i come out i also have that trs out here coming split y into dual into my focus right interface right here the scarlet 2i2 whatever it's called so that is what i'm looking forward to doing the other really cool feature here is that right here i have this usb hub and i have them all labeled and when i want i can just toggle these on and off and as you can see here i got the lt the hx effects xl the white hx stomp the pod go my mini board and the black hx stomp this is awesome and all that is routed into this 
and it puts it up on the computer. So this is what the back looks like. It can get kind of messy, I guess, but made it out of MDF and then I covered it in this like husky liner stuff, which I love. It makes it look a lot more professional. To give it some stability, I put a full sheet of this uh, compressed, it's like eighth inch thick stuff and then just cut a hole out the back that way this whole unit wouldn't want to rack back and forth. I think I might just put this right here for now on top, especially when I'm trying to figure out if everything's gonna work. So let's do the pod go first. Pod go equals gray, go gray. Also got, uh, I think these are six foot long. And since it's on the top shelf, I'm gonna just come out of one and go into the guitar in. I'm gonna take the two uh, TS cables here, plug them in the stereo main outs left and right. All right, I was getting a little bit of sound, but uh, I have to configure it, I think. But there's the uh, there's my cables for stereo effects coming in, TS on one end, TRS out the other. So on here, there's an editor, and you can go in and uh, click all these for each of the loops. You can do split mono, you can name them. All right, I just figured it out. Got stereo. Works great. Um, the editor, it's not the only thing you have to do to set up stereo. There's actually a page here on the website that you have to put it first into mono versus stereo mode. You hold the loop six button, you select which, which loops you want to be stereo, which in my case are all of them. And then after you're done, you let go and it's now and you're ready to go. Anyways, so now it sounds great. Now that one works. I shut it off. It's not there. Now let me hook up the rest of them and should be easy going from here. How'd it go? Your chick's done. Yes. All right, let's do this color next. I love that color. Look at that. Beautiful. Loop three. That works. got all the uh, USB hooked up, but some of them are kind of short, so I bought some other ones. Hopefully, these are long enough, and they're nice and flexible too, which I like. But now I need to get my label maker. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so I got all that hooked up, snaked down. It's just sitting there, going all the way back into there. I've just relabeled all of these and I'm gonna snake those together. Starting to come along. Now that snaked together pretty well. And then I have all the power to clean up. All right, what do you think so far? We got all the USB. We got this snaked here. I wanna like attach it to the back maybe so it's not all flopping around. This I still have to figure out how. I kinda wanted it on my desk. I could just poke, you know, hit these, but then just got all this coming off of it. And when this unit is slid back there, there's no room for cables to go this way off my desk. They'd have to go that way off my desk, which still might be possible. I might have to move some stuff around. We'll see. So there it is, it's all hooked up. I decided to just leave this sitting here for now because I can reach it easily from my chair. And I got my top cables all color coordinated so I can pull these out and see which is which. So that's gray. I know that gray is in this channel, which is the last one. Um, I might put some, uh, I want this to look good, but I might put some labeling up here just so I can with ease remember, maybe a, a tape a strip of tape right there, I can just jot it down in case I change it. Um, yeah, so there it is. I got them all to where I can pull them out and it not be difficult, not a lot of tension on the cables in the back, just like that. This is gonna make my workflow so much easier. This Husky liner from Home Depot, actually I got a lot of it off of Amazon. 
Uh, it's really awesome because it kind of looks like Tolex, like you'd see on an amp. Uh, it's padded and cushy, and I just ran it over the front and stapled it under the bottoms um, so you don't see all that unfinished stuff when you're standing up here. Ran it over the edge for a nice clean look. And as you've seen, it's on wheels, so I can just pull it out and work on it if I need to. Scoot it right out. And it's not too much of a rat's nest. I mean, you got a little bit. This one here is the power cable, and it's really long, so I might fix that. But I got all the USB snaked together, all the audio snaked together, and now I'm trying to determine if I want my focus right to be here in the middle or maybe off to the side a little closer because when I pull it out, as you saw, it just fell over. But right, so let me show you how this is going to really help my workflow. I can just turn on a few of these and let's see what happens and then they just pop up on the screen just like that and I can drag and drop presets and work on them at the same time like let's just say I want to use my uh, HWL bass preset over here on the LT sure let's do it and there it is boom let's get them all up here there's the XL HX effects pod go <laughs> just, I'm just so excited. I just want to say a huge shout out to Jake over at JH Pro Audio. Thank you for hooking me up with some of this and helping me create this video. If you guys want to support the channel, I have some products linked below. I got my brand new Tone Match presets, got my Expanse Pack, ever growing collection of presets for all of these products. I got a digital worship planner for worship leaders who have to do things that we have to do to get ready for Sunday. I also have uh, worship pads, so check those out. If you like the video, like it, subscribe. I've got some more giveaways coming, some more videos coming out very soon. You don't want to miss it. Have a good one. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, I love how this is on tripod. I can just move it anywhere I want it.